angel says, who else do you have? Don't the angels know? The soda of the matter is, since the angels are in the house, this door is now the supernal door which the external forces want to cling to. Good way to keep up. To draw sustenance. What does the Nakash want to do in the Gan Eden? He wants to attach to Havas Yasod. Correct? What do to the door? What do these people of Sodom want to do? They want to attach to this door. They're trying to get to Adam's door, which is Lot. Right? So the angels are have given them blindness, so now they cannot see. In the Psalms it says, evil grabs at the gate but cannot break it down. What what does this mean? This is the Malchut of Atsilut. They're trying to get a hold of the Malchut of Atsilut. That's where that's where it's trying to get in. Alright? So, let me read some Peshat here. We know that if that uh, uh, I'll just read them down. The men said to Lot, "Whom else do you have here? A son-in-law, your sons or daughters? All that you have in the city, remove from this place, for we are about to destroy this place. For their outcry has become great before Hashem. So Hashem has sent us to destroy it." So Lot went out and spoke to his son-in-laws. If he goes out to speak to his son-in-laws, that means they're married to his daughters. See? Son-in-laws. So that means he does have two daughters outside and the two daughters inside. Alright? And the betrothed of his daughters. So his his virgin daughters that were inside had husbands that they were betrothed to outside, which made the sin of the Sodomites that much more because a betrothed woman is considered like a married woman she's taken you see so that made their den even worse and and he said get up and leave this place for Hashem is about to destroy the city but it seems like but but he seemed like a jester in the eyes of his son-in-law all right now, so they didn't believe. Yeah, he seemed like a fool. His son-in-law thought him as a fool. All right. So, destroy this place. Why does it say we? Shouldn't it have just said one or or I, Gabriel? Why is it plural? The reason Raphael also is has an attribute of destruction, as we discussed. The cause of the destruction will begin with him. It's not until he takes Lot out that it can be triggered. So he is he is he is in charge he is he is in charge of releasing the Gabriel, so to speak. How does he do that? When you pull Lot out, you release you release the trigger. You see? So that's why it says we there. How could he say that they were going to destroy when it was the fire and the brimstone brimstone that did it? The angels didn't do it. The fire and brimstone destroyed it. Because the infection of the het, of the tohu, of the nakash, of of this heavy den, had ascended to Zah. It ascended to heaven. It ascended to Zeranpin. From there, the root of the Guru Road of Zah is where it ascended to. That is where Gubra, that is where Gavriel brought down the source of the destruction, and it is Zah doing it. Because you, will, it, 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 if you read it again, it says, uh, "We are about to destroy this place," and then it says, "So Hashem has sent us to destroy it." And then if you read in verse 14, it says, For Hashem is about to destroy it. For Zah. For Havaya. You see? It's going on where the root is, where they're pulling it down from, and it's Zeranpin that's fixing to do it. Alright? You're pulling on Superman's cape again. 
All right. So this, why did they, why did they do it like this? This is the left arm of Zah. This is a. <clears throat> they did this because this was a sign for future generations not to do what Sodom did. And what is America and the world doing today? This is a signpost not to do this. Lot had four daughters, son-in-laws, and two other men that were engaged to the two other virgins <clears throat> that lived in his house. Uh, which made the sin even worse. So, wh- how many wives did Jacob have? Two. Who were they? Rachel, Rachel and Leah. What about Bilhah and uh, Zil- 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 Zelda? No, not Zelda. Uh, Zilha. Z- Zilpha. He had four. <coughs> That's true. He has to have four. Adam. Jacob is 130. He's Adam. He has to have four. Two handmaids, two backside, Rachel and Leah, upper, lower, two front sides. The first hava, the second hava. You see how the math goes, keeps going? All right? Now, nothing. there was nothing good about the two daughters and the two son-in-law and son-in-laws. But they tried to convince them to leave, but these people were lost souls. They had no ability to understand. People who are are like this, they will not understand anything you tell them. They will think you are a jester, a fool, just like they thought Lot was. The secret is that, that faith is not real faith if you're not able to understand anything about your faith. If you if you don't understand what you believe, it's not real faith. You can't say, oh, you just got to believe it, brother. Oh, the Bible says you just got to believe it. That's not real faith. If you understand what you believe, that's real faith. You see? That's the difference. Adam had four wives. The Dalit is is four. Mem is forty. Now, this is the secret of the construction of the female Yisod. Because the door is the lips. There's two outer. There's two inner. We call them the majora and the minora. Correct? And I don't want to get too graphic because we have children. But these are the outer wives, the first two wives, and the inner are the second two wives. This is why Lot offered them the virgins. Because this is the construction of the sowed of the female Adam. And he had to show that they are not interested in in that at all. Lot knew exactly what he was doing with the offer that he made them. This is the secret of the dollar. Secret of the mem. The four-sided mem. This is the female yeso. How many days was Moses on the mountain? Forty days. Mountain Bina. Mem Forty. Where was he? In the cleft of the rock. See the math? See what's going on? Alright? Now, the door is what the external forces are trying to get. This is why we open the door for Elijah. Does anybody know what the gematria of Elijah is? Fifty-two. Elijah's fifty-two. So, when you're doing the feast, and as you read through the, the, the feast at Passover, you'll see every 
other word is something ma, something ma, something ma, something ma. It's all about 45. It's all about Adam. You eat the matzah, ab and sod, the 72 name, the 63 name, and then you open the door for 52. These are all the lights of Adam Kadmon. All right? Now, what, what is the back of that? The back of that is behemoth. Behemoth, the animals, right? Mm -hmm. Gematria behemoth, 52. Right? So, if Elijah is the lips, if Elijah is the door, if Elijah is Sandalphon, if Elijah is the feminine Yisod, what happens to Elijah? What happened to Elijah? He got swept away. He got in the chair fire. He got sucked up in a whirlwind. Mm -hmm. A whirlwind is the female Yisod. Has the suction. It's drawing. He's the lips. It's drawing up. What? 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 And, and we, when we studied Zechariah 14, with the end of days, and his feet, his feet, Malchut Yesod, uh, Netzach and Hod, stand on the Mount of Olives. It splits, and it basically sucks up all the holy ones. Mm -hmm. It's the lips, and 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 what's happening? Uh, Elijah is heralding the deal. This is this is the suction. This is the drawing up. From the female you sowed from Bina, because where are we going? Gone Eden, which is totally feminine. Feminine, all right. What do the what does the backside call this? Because they don't know what's going on. The rapture. The rapture. <laughs> this is what's going to happen. Now they think. They're going to be taken away. What happened to Lot? They sucked him in the door. Right? Mm -hmm. They reached out with the left hand, left hand's feminine, sucked him in. Up, up, and away. Out of here. <clears throat> What's going to happen? Gog and Magog, the exact same thing. There's lots of Lots living in Togu, right? <clears throat> Pieces of Adam. You know, not all of us are very good people. Some of us are pretty contaminated. But, you're doing mitzvahs. Lot did one. Got him out. <clears throat> right? This. So, <clears throat> I always say, the Christianity, Christianity is the Peshat of the Sod on the back side. You know? Mm -hmm. They had to get the rapture concept from somewhere because it has to be, it has to be in their religion or there's no complete truth. They just absolutely invert it and completely make it uh, them, make it non-Torah, make it the opposite of what's going to happen. The exact opposite of what they think is going to happen is going to happen. Just like it did to Lot, so be it at Sodom and Gomorrah. This is a secret of Elijah. This is a secret of Sandal Foam. Right? This is what this is 52. There's 52 weeks in a year. It's this is Malchut. This is the Nukva. This is what's going on. I, I tried to hit all the layers on the map for you. So uh, we <coughs> we are going to uh, so Lot went out at, out and spoke to his son-in-laws and with betrothed to his daughters, and he said, "Get up." Leave this place for Hashem is about to destroy a city, but they seem like jesters, fools in, in their eyes, in the eyes of his son in laws. And that is where we are going to stop. We will start next week. <coughs> Just as dawn was breaking, the angels urged Lot, saying, Get up, take your wife, your daughters who are present, lest you be swept away because of the sin of the city. And we will continue with this whole thing on Lot. Next week, the Torah is amazing. Sages are amazing. We'll see y'all next Wednesday. Same time, same bat channel. <laughs>